Apart from MS Dhoni entering a cricket stadium, what's the one thing that excites all the Indians? It's the announcement of IPO allotments. Every now and then, a lot of new IPOs are getting launched, and a lot of lucky investors do tend to make decent profits on these IPOs. But before you start planning on how to use this profit to buy your next iPhone or your next car, you should definitely know about the tax implications on the profits made from IPO. Firstly, let's understand what an IPO is. Imagine you're opening a new business and you need money to run the business. And instead of using your own pocket money, you ask your friends for money. And in return, they get a percentage of your profits and also some share in your company. In India, when a new company needs money to grow its business, they do something similar. They let regular people to buy a small part of their company, which is called as IPO or Initial Public Offering. So, just like your friends who own a small part of your business, people who buy an IPO own a small part of that company. If the company performs well and makes more money, the prices of shares go up. While if the company doesn't perform as well, the share price can go down. Many people believe that the gains from the IPO are completely tax free but the reality is quite different. These gains fall under capital gains taxes. But what exactly is capital gains taxes? Basically, whenever you make a profit by selling an asset like a gold, investment, stocks, you have to pay a portion of that profit as taxes called as capital gains taxes. If you sell it shortly after buying let's say within an year for a stocks it is called a short term capital gains and you're liable to pay higher taxes on it but if you hold on to it for a longer time let's say for more than an year for stocks it is called as long term capital gains and the tax rates are considerably lower than the short term capital gains if you hold the shares for 12 months or less it will be called as stcg or short term capital gains and you will be taxed at a rate of 20% plus cess However, if you hold the shares for 12 months or more, it will be called as LTCG or long term capital gains. In this case, any amount up to rupees 1.25 lakh is exempt from taxes and any amount beyond that has to be taxed at a rate of 12.5% plus cess. Now, let's understand some scenarios to simplify this process. Imagine you got 15 shares at price of 1000 rupees in IPO. and on the listing day the price of the stock jumps to 1600 and you decide to sell them immediately here is how the tax breakdown will look like the buying price of the share is 1000 rupees and the selling price of the share is 1600 rupees so basically you made a profit of 600 rupees per share and since you bought 15 shares 600 into 15 comes out to be 9000 rupees so The STCG tax that is 20% of 9000 is 1800 and 4% says on the STCG amount will be 1800 into 4% which will come out to be 72 rupees so total STCG will be 1800 plus 72 which means 1872 rupees so basically you will need to pay 1872 rupees in taxes on your total IPO profit of 9000 rupees another example is when you are selling your shares after 1 year Here we have two scenarios for LTCG depending on whether your total capital gains from stocks crosses 1.25 lakhs or not. If you hold on to your 15 shares for more than a year and your total long term capital gains from listed shares for the year including the 9000 rupees profit from selling these shares is below 1.25 lakh then your total LTCG will come out to rupees 9000 and your tax liability will be none. since it is well below the 1.25 lakh exemption limit and in this case you do not need to pay any ntcg tax on the 9000 rupees profit now let's look at another scenario where your total ltcg crosses 1.25 lakh rupees for example if your profit from the listed shares is 1.5 lakh then in this scenario you will have to pay taxes only on the remaining 25000 rupees since 1.25 lakh is already exempted Now let's understand some calculation for a profit of 25000 rupees the LTCG tax that is 12.5% will come out to be 3125 rupees and the cess which is 4% on LTCG will come out to be 125 rupees therefore the total LTCG tax including the cess will be 3250 rupees so in this scenario you will need to pay 3250 in taxes on the 25000 rupees profit 
if your overall capital gains on the listed shares exceed 1.25 lakh for the year. Now, if you are someone who wants to avoid all these complex calculations, I have a simple solution for you. You can file your taxes on ClearTax where all your complex calculation will be done in a single click. ClearTax makes tax filing very easy for you by importing thousands of capital gains transactions in seconds, auto calculating your long term and short term capital gains taxes and automatically selecting the correct ITR form. So, hopefully, after this video you have a better understanding on how IPO gains are taxed. But if you still have any questions, you can write them in the comment section down below. But make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Thank you.